Hi everyone! I'm sitting back down after kind of a two-week Christmas break to get back into my planner and get a plan on paper um, for next week. Okay, so I guess first we should see where we're at. I feel like the days kind of have been blurring together. This is the current week. Today is Sunday. Um, it's been a wonderful week at home, but for tomorrow, I am going back to work and definitely need to get oh, a plan down because you know how it is going back into a routine after being off for several weeks. So I have my Planner Kate kits here and I need to decide which January kit I'm going to use. I think it's going to be this MK504. So let me get all of the sheets out. So for February, I did not order all of the things. Um, I think I have a haul up on the February kits, but you can see here, I did get a lot of sheets in this kit for January, just because I wasn't sure where I was going to be with my planners. I had thought about jumping back in to the Daily Duo. So um, I have a lot of sheets, but that's okay. I know for sure I want to use this functional sheet because um, it's new for January. Um, it's added to the 2023 lineup and I think you could really get a lot done with just this functional sheet. And then I do for sure want to use the sampler page. And maybe we will try the journaling kit pages and see how that goes. Okay, so bear with me here as we head into January and there are new kit layouts. It might take me a while to get acclimated to exactly what part of each kit I want to use. And I think for sure I need to pull some um, date options here. I think I might use this little add-on with some of the washi and see how that works. So we will start with this journaling kit torn washi and put it over these existing dates in the planner. And then it might be cute to use these with the date next to them. I think we're going to try it. And if we don't like it, the great thing about Planner Kate that I always say is that they are removable and repositionable. So it will be no big deal to pull those up if we need to. I'm kind of aligning them over to the left to make room for these. And let's check the date here. Today's the first, so that would mean this is the second. It's always fun, in my mind at least, to play around with new sticker sheets and putting them different places. And instead of just using my normal old strip header, I thought it would be fun to try something else. The good thing is it's two pages and if you hate it, again, pull it up or next week, try something different. So we have that. And then I do wanna use the weekend banner. I love this new updated version that has the print and then the kind of scripty font over that. 
and I'm gonna use these on the sidebar I'm trying to decide what I want to put up here if anything we could put this torn washi now the mountains would be upside down on that one so let's see I guess the print does matter if it's directional. I'm gonna put that back on this sheet so we don't waste a sticker. Might wanna use that somewhere else. And maybe we'll try, I wonder if this one will cover. That's better. Just wanted to cover up in the planner where it said the month. Super cute. I'm liking the torn washi look. And then we're gonna use these little strips on the sidebar. We'll have a to-do, a to-go, and to-call section. And I think those are available on the new sampler. To do and to go and to contact that's perfect okay sidebar is ready and now let's talk about some plans for the week so if you guys celebrate Christmas I hope that you had a great holiday um, I hope it was relaxing and rejuvenating and all of that stuff. Okay. Diving into these, um, right away I'm going to use this basic label here to mark that tomorrow is a work day for us. I know it's the observed federal holiday for a lot of people. Um, but our contract this year says that we have to work that. So I will be in at work already tomorrow. And then for Tuesday, we will maybe layer one of these dark flags with one of these thin boxes and say, um, school starts so we will have our students back on Tuesday and of course my son then will have to go back to school that day as well and then we have to get in two taekwondo practices this week and I'm going to use these little check mark labels mark that for Wednesday and Thursday. And then my friend has an appointment on a Friday that I don't want to forget about. I want to check in on her. So we're going to write that down just as a little reminder on one of these thin stickers. And we will use another one of these check boxes for basketball practice that's going to be starting on Saturday. We'll use these for more of my stuff so we do have small group um, twice this week actually and then we'll use one also for a church sermon and 
And while I'm here, I'll get one of these little thin ones that label ready for my husband. And bowling. Let's get those popped down real quick. Okay, so that's down. And then I think on Monday we are going to have friends over for a family game night. Put that down here. And let's just look through here. I wanted to see. I think I want to use the sticker that I had messed around with up here, down here, just to add just a little bit extra to the page since I'm not using the wide washi at the bottom like I typically do. And then I did have to go pull all of my work meetings. I actually stayed late before Christmas break started for us and got everything kind of prepped and ready file wise so that when I walk in the door on Monday I'm kind of ahead if that is even possible. So really I don't have a whole lot of meetings and I decided to use these decorative labels um, for those items this week since I don't have a whole lot. I did want to pull just a couple of stickers from my favorite album here. I like these very simple habit trackers. I'm starting a new journaling thing with my son um, starting tomorrow, so I wanted to track that. And then I also wanted to use these dash stickers. These are dash 104 to mark out our meals. Um, I kind of talked about in a previous video how that's one of the things I want to try to do better with. Um, a lot of it's my lunch. I pack my son's lunch and then don't take the time to pack my own. And then I'm just kind of grabbing things on the run. So in attempt to do better, I am going to mark these off for suppers. And just how the timing worked out on the paper, it's not gonna be at exactly the time we eat dinner, but that's where it works, you know, going all the way across the page. So that's what we're gonna do. So my plan is on Monday to have potato soup. And on Tuesdays, we're gonna have ham sliders. And on Wednesday, we're going to have ribs. And I know that might not seem like a lot for some of you that are like right on top of your meal planning but for me that's a step i'm trying to take baby steps so even though i don't have anything planned for the rest of the night it's on the week we can have leftovers i'm sure for some of those items and it's a start and maybe next week i'll plan a fourth day in there so at least i'm making progress right and while i'm in my favorites album i do have a warehouse wednesday sticker that i wanted to use Maybe it's in this one. Nope. See, I swear it's in this section and I missed it. I did. And these are sheet S1824. And 
and that will be at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. And I'm gonna mark just a couple more things. On Thursday, I do want to place my Walmart order. I'll kind of take inventory and see where we're at and get my meal plans done, and then that pickup will be on Sunday. Typically sometime after church. I also want to put in here my weekly reset, so I'm gonna use this little icon and we'll put it on a Friday night, even though I've talked about this before as well, so sorry if it's a repeat, but I typically do these items over the span of two or three days on the weekend. And I wanted to use up some of my checklists in here, these bar checklists. They're an older sheet, but I still love them. We'll use one of those. We will wash the sheets. Vacuum. Empty the fridge of all the leftovers, dishes that we need to do. Take the trash out. and do a bathroom check. And I think that's gonna wrap up the week. Gives me a good overview for the week. Um, this is what the week looks like with stickers. I also started a new series where I've been planning and the planner sent to me for review. So I do have, I think it's the same week. Let me look planned out in my Ashley Shelley planner. Nope, this was the week of the, well maybe, yeah, the week of the 26th for this one, but you can kind of see the difference there. And then I also planned out the week in my, the plan by Lauren Treslow. That was this current week here. So we have the Erin Condren with stickers and we have the plan with minimal Planner Kate doodle stickers, um, but I did want to just kind of show you that side-by-side -side comparison. Maybe one version works better for you. I'd love to hear if you use stickers or if you're more of a minimal planner. Um, I just can't give up this format of planning with stickers because it's such a creative outlet for me um, and I really enjoy the process. So. Here it is, finished week. Thank you for joining me for another video and I will see you back next week. Typically on Thursdays, those videos are dedicated to these Erin Condren Planner Kate Plan With Me's and then my other videos will feature different planners and different topics. Bye friends, have a great day.